Good afternoon, I'm Dion Lim. I am CEO of Next Lesson. We are a developer of applied learning resources for the K-12 market. Um, we like to think of ourselves as the cure for the common curriculum. Our vision is to increase student engagement. And how do we do that? By making learning personally relevant. Um, so just clarify for a moment, engagement is not enchantment. Enchantment is when students are bedazzled by games or by technology. We're really about engagement when students are interested in solving problems and learning skills that are relevant to them. So we take topics of high interest like movies, sports, books, even celebrities, and we build content that is in an authentic problem-solving context. So the cornerstone of our strategy is to create content that is relevant. Um, so we use a framework which is called journalistic news values. This is what the New York Times and the Washington Post uses. Is the topic timely? Um, are the actors prominent, like Hunger Games or Taylor Swift? Uh, is the issue significant? Uh, could be global warming, or to a sixth grader, it could be zit. Um, is it local? We care a lot more in the Bay Area about the Warriors than we do about the jazz. Um, anything that's new flows dopamine. And of course, anything that's more current uh, flows dopamine. So we care more about the iPhone 8 than we care about the iPhone 2, right? Uh, but it's not just about um, entertaining kids. It's about building critical thinking skills. So give them what we describe as ungoogleable kind of challenges. Why would we restrict access to Google in this day and age? The challenge really is just to give students the kind of questions where they can't look up the right answer on Google. And of course, connections to the real world that are authentic. So no lemonade stand questions, no rolling of their eyes at those kind of questions. There's a funny joke that says there are, uh, there's only one place you can buy 600 watermelons and people won't think you're crazy, and that's in a math textbook. <laughs> Um, so how do we help uh, teachers in the classroom increase student engagement? We help them connect learning to the real world. Things that are concrete always precede things that are abstract. No less of an expert than Albert Einstein said that. Um, activate critical thinking. We're much more likely to engage uh, when we're posed a question or a problem as opposed to just have to regurgitate something. Uh, we enhance their core curriculum. My seventh grade daughters had an Algebra One textbook that five pages in said 700 million CDs are shipped annually from manufacturers to retailers. You know, that's a data that's 10 years old, two paradigm shifts old. How can you engage with that um, when you've got the um, uh, iTunes? store and now Spotify is the way that most of these kids listen to music and we have Spotify lessons. Uh, leveraging their student interest, big neural network um, already pre-existing for most of these students and so when we connect learning to those networks, learning is much more resilient. Um, when you're behind or if you're advanced, you can use our content and still meet you where you are because you can practice the skill or you can really practice critical thinking. Um, and finally, because these are digital natives, they prefer using technology. Um, in terms of the team, serial entrepreneur, this is my sixth startup, um, backed by the top uh, entrepreneurs in the Valley, CEOs of Salesforce, Dropbox, Yelp, Yahoo, Nextdoor. Um, these are people who really care about education, but mostly they care about the fact that they need to hire people that have the creativity and the initiative that our current education system doesn't really generate. Um, so with that, let me finish up with a, a nice little countdown here. Uh, Two million, uh, that's the number of students that we have served. Uh, including internationally. We have our first international client in Hong Kong. Um, 1.9 million, uh, that's the number of interest ID ratings. So because our content is based on human interest, uh, we ask the students, what are you interested in? And we have a Tinder-like thumbs up, thumbs down experience. And uh, we're going to know better than any company in the world what students are interested in. And of course, once uh, we know that, teachers can actually look up lessons based on those interests. You know, why have, why have a tool asking students, what are you interested in if you don't have the content that backs it up? So this delivers voice and choice to students. Uh, 500,000, um, that's across four different categories, um, math, ELA, social science, science. Um, 80,000, uh, that's the number of teachers that have used Next Lesson. Um, probably teachers that are in your district. Uh, we have a freemium business model where 5% of our content is free. Teachers can buy individual lessons from between $1 and $10, but our license um, to districts is our business model, so we license our content to, uh, to districts. Um, 10,000, that's the total number of resources that we have across the K-12. Uh, we have them in both applied learning, which is sort of that problem-solving, project-based learning area, as well as skill builders. And that's really important because surface learning and practice of skills has a place uh, in learning as well, but it's just a lot easier if you like the content. Uh, 3,000, that is the number of topics that we cover. Um, so everything from careers to movies to YouTube, which is the number one most popular topic, uh, and of course, ice cream and pizza. Um, 
95. Uh, sets the coverage that we have of ELA and math standards uh, K-12 and says so it's really important so districts can cover all of their standards uh, with us. Uh, 80, that's the number of resources that have a DOK-3 or DOK-4 activity. Again, it's not about entertaining them, it's about building those critical thinking skills. What's the best size of zit cream to buy? What's the most important cell in the body? Look at that last one. What news source is most trustworthy? We posed that question three years ago. How timely is that, right? Um, 35, uh, that's a percentile improvement in one year that uh, Terrell Lane Middle School in North Carolina experienced with one year of high fidelity usage of next lesson, 20th to 55th percentile, high minority, high poverty school. Um, we went from lagger to leader. Next lesson was one of the biggest reasons for our success. Nice quote from their principal. Uh, 31, lessons about Taylor Swift. So your marketing manager analyzing your video blank space, we give you the upload date, the number of views, the ad rate, the split rate. We ask you to use algebraic functions to figure out how many views are going to occur over time and figure out how much is it worth. And then, of course, because math doesn't occur in a vacuum, you have to write an article saying how you make money on YouTube. Right? So 25, number of districts nationwide. In California, we've added a dozen um, in the last year across the US. 10, uh, which is leading superintendents um, who advise us. You only can build great products with great educators advising you. Uh, even better, in the last year, we've add, added the top researchers out of math, out of ELA, and out of uh, efficacy. John Hattie has written the Visible Learning Series. There's only one company in the world that both Joe Bowler and John Hattie advise, and that's next lesson. Uh, two, uh, this is the improvement from rote learning to applied learning, instead of memorizing the nine Supreme Court justices, we'll take that and say, who's the most influential Supreme Court justice? Students have to rank who, who's most influential, cite their thinking, compare their thinking against others. Really, really easy way of elevating um, uh, any content. And one is our focus on increasing student engagement, because when you increase student engagement, you increase student outcomes. Um, the final thought I have for you is we're not focused on closing the achievement gap, we're focused on closing the opportunity gap. We believe that talent is evenly distributed across race, gender, income level, and geography, but what is not evenly distributed is opportunity. The opportunity to be exposed to the industries of the future, the opportunity to see your learning as personally relevant, because when you see learning as relevant, you care about your learning, and caring creates resilience, and res resilience is the foundation of success both in school and in life. So thank you very much. If you guys are interested in chatting with me, always looking for friends.